very good morning and welcome to our weekly devotion and this morning we will meditate from the book of Nehemiah chapter 4 verses 1 following and it says Sanballat ridiculed the Jews and in the presence of his associates and the army of Samaria he said what are those feeble Jews doing I'm going to address the theme this morning how to handle ridicule how to handle ridicule you see, most of us have had experience of what is called as the Murphy's Law. And the Murphy's Law conveys the idea that if anything can go wrong, it will. And there are many applications of this Murphy's Law. For instance, if you try to fix something, Murphy's Law says it will take longer than you anticipated. It will cost more than you expected and it will break down before it is paid for and someone will not like it when it is done. We have come to such a circumstance in chapter 4 of the book of Nehemiah. Here Nehemiah faces a severe and violent opposition to his work of rebuilding the wall and gates of Jerusalem. The opposition takes off its gloves and the real battle begins. Like Nehemiah, we have an enemy who opposes us with craftiness and power perhaps daily against every effort on our part to get our lives together and recover from our own damage hurt and ruin we will experience opposition from the enemy almost invariably his first attempt to halt such a recovery in our own life is to discourage us through ridicule mockery or even rejection Look at the scorn and sarcasm in those comments of Sanbalat. Many of us perhaps have experienced this kind of attack. We know personally of people who are unwilling to do what is right because they fear that their friends will laugh at them and mock them when they want to change. There are individuals who are unable to stop alcohol, for example, because their friends will make fun of them if they try to do so. Yet alcohol is destroying their life. There are some others who are wasting their life on bad habits and sinful lifestyle. But they do not want to stop because they are afraid that they will be laughed at. The ridicule and mockery of ones who are close by us are the powerful weapons that the enemy employs against us. You see, most of us have had some experience with this weapon of ridicule and mockery that the enemy employs against us. Perhaps you would have had someone who would say to you when you were trying to stop something that was wrong with these words. Who do you think you are anyhow? Do you think you are better than any one of us? Or perhaps someone would also say you've made a good start but you won't hold out, you won't last. Nehemiah was a godly man. He consistently prayed. He was gifted, he was talented, he was chosen by the emperor to go rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. And the mission started with compassion and was accompanied by prayer. And this work was clearly a work of God. From the timing, the financing, the extreme blessing, we see God leading the rebuilding of the wall of Jerusalem. And most people would assume that if God started this work in such a way, then he would continue to protect their work from having any form of difficulties. But we just don't find that happening here in Nehemiah's case or perhaps even in our own real life case. It is a deceptive assumption that often leads us into despair. And Nehemiah regards this attack as an insult against God himself. Note that he does not argue back, nor does he retaliate. He does not wound these men with angry refutation. He simply responds by praying. It reminds us of what Peter says about Jesus Christ in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 23. He says, when they hurled insults at Jesus, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threats. So this is a very helpful picture of how to handle that kind of attack. Pray that God would strengthen you to do what is right, regardless of the ridicule you receive at the place where you work or even at your school or college 
where you study or even at your own home and ask God's help to respond to the ridicule in prayer and faith. Let's look to God in prayer. Thank you, Father, for this morning. And we pray, Father, that you'd help us to handle the attack against our own life by ridicule of other people. Help us to know that by prayer and having faith and trust in you, we can complete the work that you have given us to do. Bless your children, O oh Father, with a spirit of patience and with a spirit of prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. God bless you and have a wonderful day.